All right, this is Jason, and I'm here with uh, the chairman of the state Republican Party, Dole Webb. And it just came off a, a, an election year where you had a lot of successes. Tell me about why do you think this year Republicans in Arkansas had so much success compared to, to previous cycles? Well, we could, we could see it coming in the election of 2008 when Barack Obama was on the ticket versus McCain-Palin. We could see the strength of the Republican, the conservative movement in Arkansas. And then as we saw emerge last year, as the radical liberal agenda developed in Washington, we saw the Tea Parties and the conservative movement catch fire in Arkansas. And I believe it was that liberal agenda, that radical liberal agenda, that ignited the excitement here in Arkansas. We've always felt that there was a, con a strong conservative base uh, not just a Republican base, but a strong conservative base, and that if we were able to uh, uh, present candidates that were strong, uh, that were qualified, that they could attract that vote. And they did. What are some of the things that the state party itself did, without, without maybe giving away your whole playbook, what are some of the things that y'all did that, that helped create some of that success, and even in some of the down-the-ballot races, that, that you really haven't had that type of success? Well, uh, and you were there when I was elected two years ago. One of the goals I've had has been to uh, learn, re relearn, if you will, how to block and tackle. We've not always focused on the grassroots races. We would focus on president or U.S. senator or Congress. Well, this year, soon at, or uh, this this period of time, soon after election, we began targeting uh, precincts throughout the state and uh, legislative and senate districts that would, would could elect a Republican. Well, when you do that, you also start looking at the congressional districts where the base will elect a conservative Republican, and then you also know where your strength is statewide. So once we did the targeting, we started looking for candidates to run. Now let me say that Barack Obama helped us a great deal. We had a lot of people coming in early on wanting to run, and it was our challenge to try and uh, direct them to the race that they could best serve in. We weren't always successful in that, uh, but I think that uh, history will show that uh, we were greatly successful last year. So, good targeting, uh, good uh, recruitment, and then uh, funding-wise, we were able to, I think, m more than any other year, adequately fund our candidates. And let me say this quick, Jason. You, if we had not had the people running for the state legislative seats or the county judge races or the JP races, we would not have won those this year. So it, it really was intentional on our part to target races and recruit candidates at the grassroots level to help build the bench for the future. Well, you mentioned uh, in your answer, your election a couple years ago, uh, party elections are coming up again, I believe, uh, this next month. Are you planning to seek uh, re-election, uh, and what, what are your thoughts you on know, that? You know, a lot of people have asked me that question, uh, and it, it's, it's, a, it's a pleasure when people say, are you going to run? You have done a good job. You know, we have never seen this kind of success. And the first thing I always say to them, it wasn't, it wasn't me alone. You know, team does not have an I in it. But I do plan on seeking cha the chairmanship again. I have sent my letter out to the state committee uh, presenting my intent to seek re-election on December the 4th. At this point, I don't know of an opponent. If I have one, we will run vigorously uh, and put forth a good platform and try and show uh, fellow Republicans, fellow conservatives, what I have been able to do as the chairman of this party. Well, what will be some of the, the things you'll do in the second year? Obviously, you've had a lot of success this first. How, how, will you keep, how do you keep that going? Well, the difficulty now is helping our freshmen uh, become uh, involved, assimilated, understand the legislative process. It's one thing to run for office. It's another thing to serve well. And our challenge now is that those that the people of Arkansas elected serve well and prove themselves to be conservatives, uh, good Republicans, the people that we have fought for years to get elected, uh, now they need to serve as conservatives. You know, I think the beauty of what has occurred uh, with the two-party system is that now with a more equal balance of the two parties, 
we will have a, a, a battle of ideas. The power of ideas are what can come forward. Uh, whether you're a major minority member or a majority member, you've still got to cross party lines, and I think that's what's going to be great for Arkansas, that maybe some new ideas will come forward. Maybe we will actually do some things that we've talked about for a long time that will be beneficial to our state in the long run. Great. Well, if I could just turn attention briefly to the National Party. I've talked about some of the state elections, the National Party elections coming up. You're one of three people in the state who actually get a vote in who the, the National Committee chairman is. Yes. Uh, Michael Steele was elected a couple of years ago, uh, ousted the incumbent, and now it looks like he's going to have a challenger in that election. What are your thoughts? Have you been pleased with the performance that Chairman Steele has done, and, or do you think it's time for a change? Well, I, I am one of 168. There are three from each state, plus some of our territories, uh, that will elect the new chairman. And it's interesting, we, there will be balloting until, there, until a candidate receives 85 votes. So the first ballot, uh, if it, it isn't just reduced to two candidates, all candidates can remain in. Let me say this, I uh, voted initially from Mike Duncan. Uh, he was the uh, incumbent last time, but he withdrew after the first or second ballot. And then I supported Michael Steele at the urging of many fellow Republicans here in the state. I feel that Michael Steele has done for Arkansas what no other chairman has done. He made a commitment to us last year to put Arkansas, make to Arkansas a target state. We were the best funded we have ever been. We had nine offices around the state. We had nine field reps, uh, close to probably close to $2 million dollars was spent in the state as a result of Michael Steele's commitment to making Arkansas a two-party state. Now that's going to be hard for me to walk away from because he made a commitment to us and uh, just like a good old Arkansan, I feel a little beholden to him. So uh, I'm, not, I'm not going to say that someone else won't be elected, but my initial vote goes for Michael Steele. Okay, great. Well, appreciate your time today Thank and you. congratulations again on, on your success. Thank you. Thank you, Jason.